Hello! Let's tour Lucky's house and the barn from the Spirit Riding Free series. So many characters, furniture, accessories, and of course, horses. We will see three different Luckies. Lucky in the kitchen of her house, upstairs in her bedroom, and in the loft of the barn. <laughs> Look at this whole setup. Let's explore the house first. Here is the outside. We just decorated it for Christmas time. Here is the box that the whole set came in, the outside, and here is what is inside. 137 pieces, lots to set up. The characters in this set are Lucky, Aunt Cora, Spirit, and Clancy. This is the downstairs kitchen area. <laughs> Spirit is looking in, probably waiting for a ride, but Lucky has dishes to do this morning. Aunt Cora just made a pie. Yummy, dessert after dinner. Let's take a look at the 1800 stove Aunt Cora used to make the pie. Aunt Cora, come show us your oven. We've got a rolling pin, a mallet for tenderizing fresh meats, and a whisk for whisking baking ingredients, like dough for pies. They hang beautifully in their holder above the stove. Good. Excellent. Ah, I just had cold soup for me. Put it on the house. That's She's one. cooking. That's the oven. Ugh. Thing of it. Ooh, I think that's a fryer. I'm gonna hold it open. Good. Hey, that's and that's a, where the pie comes from. Hey. You wanna see how you cook it? Yeah. You need to just grab it and be very gentle. And that's how you do it. And there. And then you take it out and it looks like a pie. Is he lucky? See, look at him. She's trying. She takes like the house. Kitchen cupboard. And I'm going to put it up here. So all the dishes go here. But sometimes they, they don't put the bowls here or the place. They put them in storage in here. The secret trap door. Can you see it go in there? Mm hmm Trap door. Okay, so I'm going to show them, but we need to take off some of the stuff so we can do it. I'm going to press this. See, it's empty. We need to put this in. Much more space because back under to keep them clean. Close the secret trap door. The sink's painting details are absolutely adorable. All of the kitchen furniture and decorations are so miradero. So perfect for the Prescott family meals. Let's head up the stairs to the upstairs of the house. The furniture in Lucky's bedroom is in a separate box. It does not come with the house set. This bedroom is my dream bedroom. A vanity with a stool, brush, perfume, mirror. Look at the details on this vanity. We have a new Lucky and a new outfit for her bedroom. And of course, this is Playmobil. She can hold her brush and perfume. Comfy, cozy bed. Look, it's the same picture from the shows. Lucky's mom performing at the El Circo de los Rios. 
I love that season with the circus where Lucky performed the same trick standing on a horse just like her mother. Lucky has the coolest items in her chest. Look! Quills to write letters, books, show ribbons, and a magnifying glass. And this is the crystal that Julian stole from her. Remember that episode? And this writing and reading room with a desk has the coolest furniture and the coolest shape. The chairs have the same classic Prescott house design. These windows open and close to let the breeze and fresh air in and they inspire writing and reading in Lucky's bedroom nook. Simply the coolest design to this little reading nook for Lucky. Lucky's bed is big enough to have a sleepover. I'm gonna sleep on this side. The puppy wants to sleep with me. Sleep. I don't wanna go to sleep. Let me go find a bed downstairs, okay? Because I know those are beds. Her wardrobe dresser has the same design. Same fun, bright green colors that pop in this house. I need to actually put some Barbie clothes and shoes in here to give it that wardrobe dresser feel. There's plenty of space to put everything. Since it is Christmas time, I'm going to take this dresser out and put in a big hot cocoa poster. And I am going to take away her desk for the season and put up a Christmas tree. I want you to see the rest of the house's Christmas decorations and watch as we demonstrate all the ornate, pretty, pretty windows opening and closing. I can't help but decorate our toys with Christmas decorations. It just makes everything so festive and fun. These tiny wreaths are from Hobby Lobby, so, so cute. This compass at the top of the house has a horse cut out on top. I just love this little accent here. And I just can't get over how perfectly these windows were made that they can open and shut so flawlessly. And the front door opens and closes too. Lean on the roof. The roof? <laughs> it's funny. Hopefully. Sunshine faces this house is completely magnificent. Now it's time to visit the horse's stable and the pal's official hangout spot. This set comes with 153 pieces. So many interesting and tiny pieces in this set. The characters in this set are Mr. Granger, who is Prue's dad, Sagebrush, a Prescott family horse, and of course the pals, Prue, Abigail, and Lucky. What is going on in the Prescott family stable today? Oh, looks like someone was painting the stable. This soft yellow and green paint earned such lovely designs around this stable. Oh, it was Abigail. She was using this light green paint to paint Sagebrush's stall. Fresh coat of paint makes the place look super spiffy. And there's Prue using the light yellow to paint the stable. What an artist. Look at those horses. Okay, really, it was just these stickers. Let's head up the ladder to the hayloft where the pals can have their own space. Lucky looks like she is reading a book. Ah! It is Boxcar Bonnie, the mystery series that inspires so much of Lucky's detective work on the show. The kitten is distracted by the ball of yarn and doesn't seem to notice the barn mouse behind her. There are one, two, three, four barn mice in this set. Wow, that's a lot of mice. Uh-oh, the cat noticed them. 
Abigail is spending this afternoon on the hammock taking an afternoon nap. There's also this fun mushroomy pillow thing up here to hang out on. Back on the ground, no doubt, Mr. Granger has a lot of work to do around the stables today, but Mr. Granger seems to be playing with Sagebrush. Sagebrush is the horse that Lucky rode to rescue Spirit during that storm and power outage when Lucky was worried that Spirit might be attacked by the mountain lion. I think it was the last episode of season three that was our favorite episode. We've probably seen it like 50 times. She is drinking before we take her out for some exercise. We get two sets attack, one red and one blue. Spirit would never let Lucky or anyone crack him up. So I guess both sets are for Sagebrush. Come on out, let's tack you up. Sagebrush is a gale. It says it right there, Sagebrush is a gale. Bridle, reins. Saddle. Oh, that looks good. Well, she's very, she's very, she's very angry. Why is she angry? Because she doesn't like what tack on. <laughs> Prue hopped on. We're gonna see how your wagon mess is up. This is the outside of the stable. The double doors open and close. And just like the house, the windows open too. Mr. Granger is pretending to be Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Thanks for touring. Always have fun in the sun, no matter the season. Subscribe to Sunshine Fun. See you next time. Bye.